Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of the Takeover with Smaya and guess what? In today's episode, we are going to be talking about how to become a successful self-taught person in tech. So most of us have taken on this path of being self-taught and we always later blame the methods we've taken saying maybe you cannot become a successful self-taught person in tech, maybe because we made one mistake or another. And in today's episode, I'm going to let you know about what you can do so that you can become a successful self-taught person in technology. first after you've decided on saying that I'm going to teach myself something then you have to decide on what you're going to study so if you're in tech you have to choose whether you're going to study mobile application development or web design or any other thing on your own so after you've found out what you really want to study then look around see if you can get the necessary content uh, that relates to what you want to study. Let's say you've selected mobile application development. Do you have the necessary software? Do you have Android Studio? Do you have any other software that is required? Uh, the second thing is, do um, you know the language is required for one to learn mobile application development? If it's C, if it's Python, if it's any other language, then have you tried learning the language before you can come for mobile application development? Then the other thing is, um, have you looked out for a mentor, for someone who who has been doing that thing before so that maybe if you do a mistake here then you really have someone to guide you and uh, the other thing you should have in mind is the jobs uh, that are related to whatever you're going for if you're going for mobile application development then look at the jobs are you doing um ui or ux like look at the jobs that mobile application developers get then choose what is good for you then go ahead and learn second thing you have to put in your mind when you're thinking about being a self-taught person in tech is um, the roadmap of the year. Now for example we are in 2022 and now we have to look at the trending tech skills. Now if you've chosen mobile application development or if you've chosen web then I hope you know that there is now web 3. So if you've chosen mobile application development then you have to look at what's trending in mobile application development so that in case you're looking for a job then your skills can be competitive compared to the people who maybe learned something that is ancient. So look for the roadmap of that here. Align your skills in relation to that roadmap. Now after you've chosen the language you're going for, after you've chosen whether you're doing mobile application, web development or any other thing now, the next thing you have to do is start on a course. Um, I would advise someone to start with a free course because I mean you're a learner. I wouldn't advise you to spend money on a paid course then maybe during the course of the journey as you're learning maybe you get disturbed by a few things and you're unable to complete the course so i would advise someone to start with a free course um, there are very many f platforms with free courses you can try youtube you can try course era you can try um solo learn you can try very many other things so Try find a uh, free course in relation to what you've chosen above, then start learning. Personally, I'd recommend Free Code Camp as a learning platform because it's what I've been using and I would advise someone to check it out. Personally, I've been using Free Code Camp as a platform for my self-taught learning among other platforms like the Breathe Schools, Solo Learn, YouTube, um, Course Era, among others. So I would advise someone to also try out free code camp. So after you've chosen a free course and maybe you've gone through it, uh, the next thing you have to do is to choose a bootcamp. Um, one good thing about bootcamps is that they will speed you up. Maybe if you've been, um, should, I don't want to use this slow learner thing, but if you've been learning on a slow pace, then bootcamps will really fasten you up. Now, for a bootcamp, you really have to be confident about your skills. If you're good in C, if you're good in um, JavaScript, then you should be confident. If maybe they're asking about someone who can do JavaScript, then really be confident about the skills you have and uh, be ready to show the world what you have. Um, one other thing about bootcamps is you really have to be comfortable with your skills. The bootcamp I would advise someone to go for is, happens to be, best bootcamp. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the end and if you happen to try out whatever I've mentioned and you become successful feel free to let me know and uh, 
remember to share this video with a friend remember to like and leave a comment thank you so much